je prends mon chapeau. Today. Uh, I, I hope you're feeling good uh, also in this particular context. And I am very delighted to, to be able to provide you with some information uh, in this virtual format. So I'm going to, um, to share my screen. I hope everyone can, uh, can see my screen. Um, first of all, I wanted to remind uh, what is GOFAR, this organization called Global Organization for Agricultural Robotics. Uh, GOFAR is a nonprofit organization that has been launched in 2019. Um, we have our main mission, which is promoting and developing agricultural robotics industry worldwide. Um, we promote agricultural robots uh, to enhance the quality of agri, agro production, to improve the quality of life of farmers and for the environment. Go far um, in, in order to make this uh, mission possible, we have many tools and you are experiencing one of our tools. First of all, FIRA, which is the Agrobotics Summit. Since 2016, we organize regional and virtual editions, both in person, online, and hybrid. We will talk about it later. We also launched in July 2020, a web media called Agricultural Robotics. This is a media only online dedicated to the agricultural robotics industry. We have six different categories of contents, robots, technologies, services, labs, food, and markets. We also release a monthly newsletter called Agricultural Robotics News. Of course, we are very open to collaborate with other media and to make some cross-marketing partnerships uh, with this media. Um, we also build international collaboration with major events, such as the CIMA in France, AgriWeek Tokyo in Japan, or Agromec in Denmark. As I mentioned, we also partner with major medias such as Future Farming, Meister Media, or uh, WTWH Media, both in the USA. And we also partner with major organizations throughout the world, uh, such as Western Growers in the US, Avimac in Brazil, Volcani Center in Israel, the AU Japan Center for Industrial Cooperation in Japan, or the SPA in Australia. These are only a few examples of the organization we are partnering with. Uh, the goal of these main partners is always to promote and to develop the agricultural robotics industry worldwide and to, to support, to be a support for this organization in each country uh, for the, the information and the promotion of agricultural robotics. Then I wanted also to highlight uh, FIRA Open Day 2021, today, Open Day, uh, which is a special day dedicated to agrobots and networking. Why did we decide to organize this event today? Uh, the, first, um, the first context is that we had a very strong community built during FIRA 2020 in last December. And we thought that the platform uh, could be a great tool to um, gather again all the key players of the industry to, um, to make them possible to have new business opportunities and also to present some uh, exclusive contents. We will talk about it on the next slide. Today, uh, there are more than 1,300 registrants that will come and go during all the day we know that the different time zone is not always easy to manage. So such as uh, FIRA last December, all the contents will be available on replay afterwards. As you can see, all the, all the key players of the industry are present. Um, you can find, of course, robot manufacturers and technology suppliers, of course, farmers and producers, but all the key players of the value chain uh, are also here to gather and to uh, make new collaborations. These participants come from over 50 countries all around the world from the five continents. As I mentioned, uh, today you can find an exclusive program and panelists. 
uh, I wanted to highlight especially the robot demos of Ambit Robotics Earth Rover Bacchus that has been held this morning and you can find them on replay on the platform. And this afternoon, you will watch in live VTBot, Dino by Naya Technologies and Monarch Tractor. You will also find and watch pitches of advanced technologies and also project research. This afternoon, uh, I'm talking about afternoon as I am uh, based in France. Uh, so the time uh, has to be taught in CEST, UTC plus two hours. The round tables uh, this afternoon at 5 p.m. How major manufacturers and are introducing autonomy with panelists John Deere, Aco Corporation and Case IH, CNH Industrial. This roundtable will, will be moderated by David Fabota from Meister Media. After this roundtable, another one uh, will take place for an overview of the US agrobotics market. We have as panelists the University of California, Western Growers, Monarch Tractors, and Betteralia Farms for the producer. I invite you to have a look on the main stage to have the full program and also on the demo and pitch room in this platform. During the day, you will also find new services in the networking lounge. We decided to introduce a job corner to make possible new job opportunities for the, um, the candidates and also, of course, new talents and recruitments for uh, the companies. The other part of the networking lounge is the, net, the looking for and offering uh, chats that allow the participants to chat directly with the, the other participants and partners to, to make proposals for their um, search in suppliers, robot solutions or collaborations, or if they are offering um, services, new technologies or robot solutions, they can also go there and find dedicated chats to make this uh, networking lounge more uh, alive. Now I'm very, very proud to um, introduce World FIRA 2021, the Agrobotics Summit. Uh, some of you might know already about FIRA that uh, has been held since 2016 uh, in December in France and last year uh, only online. Um, this year, we decided to develop again uh, the, the brand FIRA and to um, rename and rebrand it as World FIRA uh, in contradiction with the regional FIRA I will present you later, we are going to organize. So uh, World FIRA 2021 will be held 7 to 9 December 2021 in hybrid, uh, in hybrid format, both online and in person in France. Let me show you a short video to present you the sixth edition. Thank you very much. Uh, let me share again my presentation. So as you as you can see, uh, the big uh, new thing is that it's going to be held hopefully in hybrid. Um, this hybrid uh, edition has a, a long story. Uh, so you can see the story, uh, the history uh, of FIRA that, uh, as I mentioned, uh, started in 2016. It was a very small event. It was already international. 
uh, and we had in mind that the industry was growing so fast that it deserved to have a proper event dedicated to this industry uh, that has its proper issues and constraints and also its own value chain. So it was very important to build uh, one year after one year uh, this event all together with the, the, the industry and to, to see how we could manage to gather uh, as many people as they are in the world and as many um, key, key players and um, key leaders uh, that um, have interest in participating in this event. So as you can see in 2016, we were uh, 20, uh, 200, sorry, 200 participants. We doubled this number of participants uh, in 2017. In 2018, we were 650 physical attendees with 12 robot manufacturers. Uh, in 2019, um, we were 800 people that came from all over the world, from 42 countries. Um, and there were 25 robot manufacturers presenting. And last year, as we opened uh, in this virtual uh, event, we had the chance to gather even more people, of course, and to welcome even more robots. Um, as we are based in France, we could welcome there from Australia, from Japan, from the US. And it was a very big chance, we guess, for the industry to discover the latest uh, advances. In, uh, in robotics for agriculture. So this sixth edition of FIRA will have a main topic, which is when farmers take over robots, the human practices versus autonomous machines. Every year, we noticed that it was very important to always have in mind and have to have in heart uh, of the event, the producers. They are the key players of the, the agricultural robotics industry. So they need to have a voice and a big voice to say, okay, I need this kind of functionality. I cannot uh, afford to get this kind of machine. The business model is not good. Or I need to have my voice um, regarding the regulations also. All these kind of um, feedbacks from the field uh, that is very important. So this year we think that the industry is mature enough to um, welcome really the robots in the field and that farmers are, um, are ready to welcome their, them in their all organization. So this will be the main, um, the main topic this year. Again, this year uh, for this hybrid edition, uh, the different formats you can see on these slides are the major keynotes, again, with major topics. Um, the robot demos that will have a bigger place uh, even this year with um, robot demos in the field um, in real conditions, of course, from some places in the world uh, online. But also, we will do our best to organize um, robot demos in the field in France directly in real. Uh, if everything uh, goes well, we, we will manage to do that. Um, the exhibition area will be both virtual and in person. So you will see on the next slide that we managed to get a new platform, a new online platform that allows us to have a very good a double experience at the same time, if you are an in-person visitor, you will be able to take appointments, for example, with someone online. You will be able also to visit some booths that are not present uh, in real, to visit them directly from the app that will be developed for this uh, hybrid uh, edition. So the exhibition area experience will be even more important. Uh, again, the thematic workshops this year with the different uh, type of crops and uh, different functionalities of robot that exists, exist, sorry. Uh, so many robot manufacturers will present their, their innovations during these thematic workshops. 
the scientific workshop that uh, is always uh, organized by, by Robagri uh, is going again to be improved and to welcome even more uh, university worldwide. I'm thinking, of course, uh, of uh, Baganingen University and Research, for example, but also uh, of uh, the University of California. Uh, all these uh, universities that are very, very uh, involved in uh, the, the development, the development of um, the robotics uh, industry. And as I mentioned, and you will be experiencing it maybe about the job corner online, we are going to improve uh, this service because we really think that it's um, uh, a tool that uh, attendees and partners um, are waiting. The, um, the meeting, uh, between the talents and the companies that are looking for new competences. The key figures of what we expect for this uh, sixth edition of Hira, 2,000 online participants and 1,000 on-site participants from 80 countries. Um, we aim to gather 40 agrobotics, agrobots, sorry, from anywhere in the world, both online, of course, and um, in real, and 50 international speakers. This part is also very important for you to understand that the participants are really from any type uh, of the industry. We can see that every year, of, for example, uh, the part of farmers and producers is increasing. When we started FIRA, uh, six years ago, the farmers part was only 3%. Uh, last year, it was 20%. Next year, we aim to welcome more than 30% of farmers. As I mentioned, it's very important for us that they are part of the development of the industry. They need to say what they need. They need to test the robots. They need maybe to purchase some robots, of course, and uh, to, to really interact with, um, with the manufacturers. Uh, universities and research centers also, because for us, it's very important to, to make the industry and the research um, a great moment for them to meet and to make some technology, technology transfer possible through the events. Uh, and on the other on the other graph, you can see also the different kind of um, function attendees uh, represent. So this event will be hybrid. What does it mean really? So it means that for the online part, it will be on um, our online platform. It will be a little bit different this year because we we wanted to have a platform. Uh, that could uh, answer the need of having an hybrid event. So we will change the platform this year. We will uh, choose a, a new um, a new supplier for this platform, which is really reliable and uh, that yeah that answers the, the the biggest need of having both experience into one tool actually. So uh, this online event will start in December seven. But it will last until June 30, as the platform remains open until that time online. The on-site event will uh, be held in France, in Toulouse, which is in south of France. It will uh, be held from uh, 7 to 9, December 2021, during three days. In this event uh, on-site, we will have the pleasure to meet in person again. So, at least if there, is, if there was only one reason to, to come and to visit uh, FIRA in real, it would be to say hello in real without any mask, hopefully. So we keep cross fingers and um, let's see if we can make it. But what's uh, very important also is that um, it will be a great time to see so many agricultural robots in one place. So. As I mentioned, we will have 40 agricultural robots presented during FIRA and hopefully 30 will be in person. So it will be the time where we, you can see robots in real and also in live demos. So 
the new platform, you can see some screenshots on the, um, the right-hand side. Um, it is um, built as a community platform for virtual and hybrid events powered by artificial art intelligence. So for us, uh, World Fiora 2021 is built as a unique event, providing the same first services, both online and on site for participants and partners. We always wanted to have a, a virtual platform that could be a dedicated social network for the industry. With this new platform, this is really what we are going to, to attend. Now let's talk about FIRA USA 2022. Uh, this is the first edition we are going to organize and um, we are very proud to launch uh, with the US the first uh, regional FIRA. So oh, there is a small mistake I can see uh, in the title, it's not 2021, it's 2022. As you can see underneath, it will be organized in March 2022 in California. This FIRA USA is more dedicated on, demo, on the robot demos. Why? Um, there is a main reason why we wanted to highlight the robots in the USA. Um, California especially, um, and the producers of California are very awaiting for solution and uh, autonomous uh, solutions. So we know that uh, the market in the US and in California is one of the most mature markets uh, in the world. So we thought it could be very interesting to organize the first regional FIRA in the US. And we are not going to have the same kind of contents, of course, than in World FIRA because we focus on robot demos, uh, on different functionalities, harvesting, weeding, data collection for many field crops, fruits, vegetables, vineyards. There will also be some keynotes and workshops and some special topics that uh, the US market uh, is, uh, is concerned with, uh, about safety, for example, and also labor issues. During FIRA USA, there will also be uh, an exhibition uh, zone with, uh, with some uh, corners for the exhibitors to present their solutions and networking times for B2B meetings uh, already scheduled in advance, but also some informal um, networking and happenings. So of course, uh, if you want more information about FIRA USA, would be very happy to, to answer your, your questions. General information about uh, this uh, FIRA USA. It will be held in California, in Fresno to be more precise, actually. And uh, we are very honored to work with the University of California, with the Agriculture and uh, Natural Resources Department, with who we are going to co-organize this FIRA in the USA. Uh, there will be a very huge support in terms of uh, logistics and in terms of content. So this is a, a co-organization uh, that uh, we will be able to talk about uh, together uh, through uh, a new press conference, I am sure. Um, so that's uh, for the FIRA USA. And uh, last but not least information, I uh, don't know if you were aware about the FIRA 2020 ebook, which is the first ebook released uh, after a FIRA edition. Uh, we wanted to release an ebook to keep in memory what was the state of the art of the agricultural robotics industry in 2020. So this ebook is going to be released in May, both in EPUB and PDF formats, and it will be downloadable for free, of course. Some printed versions will also be available um, on this website, quai.com. Of course, uh, as participants, you will receive the link to download this book. It is going to be around 70 pages, including 
seven, uh, 27, sorry, 27 agricultural robot information sheets uh, that presented their technologies uh, last uh, December at FIRA. So this book will be very interesting, I'm sure, for, um, uh, for your everyday job. And uh, we are going to release it um, every year after the, the edition of the FIRA. So um, I really thank you for your attention. As you can see, here are all our um, contacts, our websites, our social networks, and um, my uh, email address and Maya Lenz, uh, my colleague, address email. Um, I also wanted to remind you that you can find the press release uh, of uh, today in the, um, the press room in the resource center in this platform. So please feel free to download it. And uh, I am here to also answer uh, your question if you wish. Do you have any questions? Well, if there is no question, it's because it was clear enough, I guess. <laughs> uh, two people raised their hands. No. Mathieu, hi. Uh, yes, I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. Okay, well, uh, so thank you for the Prince uh, conference. I have a few questions. Um, first one was uh, about um, the targets of your of your clients and how do you um, attend to the relation between the presenters of the robots and um, the sellers like the the farmers how do you attend to the relationship between them Okay, uh, I guess, uh, and let me know if that answers your question, that FIRA itself uh, is the tool for them to meet and to make business together if they need to. Um, that is one of the reasons why it's so important for us first to have uh, as many robot manufacturers as possible because they all have different uh, kind of technologies and different kind of functionalities. And mm -hmm. then they answer to some farmers' needs. And that's also why we want to have more and more farmers here to make sure that um, the farmers' needs meets um, the robot manufacturer's answer mm -hmm. with their machines. OK. And can I, have, can I uh, give you another question? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, if I'm the only one, uh, that's fine. Um, I I was wondering if um, why is FIRA keep uh, being organized in France, despite uh, being more and more important in the world. I guess um, it's going to be to change a little bit because you're going to organize uh, in the USA in March 2022. So um, my question is is um, mostly about why is what's the place of the FIRA in the world of agriculture and in the meeting between uh, farmers and uh, companies? Okay, I guess there are two questions inside one. Yes. Uh, so first of all, we keep FIRA for the moment in France because um, in our minds, uh, FIRA, which is now called World FIRA, is the global event. So mm -hmm. in this global event, we answer to um, the global uh, issues of the industry. And our event is uh, mainly now online. So uh, for this reason, it doesn't matter actually where the World Fira is based. And this is why, and you, understa you understood it very well, we, we started to organize regional Fira because then there are very, very, particular needs and particular specificities in each market. So it's very important for um, the industry to meet in their own markets. So when you have, for example, this FIRA in the USA, 
it will be focused on American and North American uh, farmers needs and mm. which are the robots that are already marketed on their country that can uh, be already bought by them. So this is the way we are starting and we are trying to develop our event. Okay. Thank you, Mathieu. You're welcome, thank you. Is there any other question? You can write it on the conversation section or you can also hold your hand such as Mathieu. Well, I think the presentation is finished. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much for your attention. So again, uh, please go to the resource center. There is the press room section and you can find um, this uh, press release, uh, both in French and in English, of course. Uh, and uh, the presentation I actually showed is not already in the press room, but I'm going to put it right now. Thank you very much.